The one thing I say, you know, I live in Los Angeles, and it's a question I get asked a lot is how do you get all these different gigs? And, and um, I think the biggest thing is to be, you know, I always always say is be in the right place at the right time. And, you know, for me, L.A. is the right place. And, and it was just a matter of, you know, I got there and, and uh, you know, tried to play around a lot. I would say, you know, a couple important things a lot of you guys don't even think about is, you know, obviously practice a ton before, you know, you get wherever you're going um, so that you're ready for whatever comes at you. You know, that's the, the being at the right place, you know, at the right time, you, you know, it also means you need to be prepared when, that, when those two things come together. Um, the, you know, the, the other thing is go out. Go out wherever you are, wherever you're seen is be seen. Be, you know, get out, play, you know, whenever I can, whenever I'm in town. Um, usually in L.A., if I play a gig, another gig will come from that if I play in town because there are so many different people. If you're playing in the right spots, you know, the right little, little pockets, you know, where bands will play while they're in town, um, you know, that if you're seen and, you know, people like what they see, you'll get, you'll get more work. And that's, that's definitely been the case for me. Um, another thing I would say that a lot of people don't think about is tell people, you know, what you're looking for. You know, in L.A., you know, I go out and I say, you know, if I'm looking for a tour or something, I let people know. And, and next time they're like, oh, you know what, that dude's looking for a gig, I'm going to call him up. It sounds pretty simple, but a lot of times people are, you know, it, it's important to go out, let people know what you're looking for and let, like what you're up to and what you want to do. Um, it's tricky, obviously networking. You know, I went to two good music schools. I went to University of North Texas and University of Miami. Um, and both those places, you know, bred a lot of great players who are really busy. And um, not only do you grow a lot in that environment and get ready to go out and get gigs, once you're out in the, uh, you know, in the, in the world, it's great to be able to know wherever you go, there's gonna be somebody from those schools that you, know, you can kind of network with. So that helps a lot. Um, obviously, it's a catch-22. The more gigs you have, the more gigs you'll probably get. Um, when I go into an audition, it's great to go into an audition and have someone go, oh, I saw you play with somebody at this place, and that helps break the ice and maybe helps you get the gig. Um, but like I said, you got to get, get those gigs first. But I would say another thing is, is don't say no to any gig. Take any gig you can, you can get, big or small, because you never know, and play great, because you never know who, who will see you that way. And, um, and also always try to play with musicians who are better than you. Don't ever be afraid to play with somebody because you think they're above your head. I did that all through college and, and, and would get my butt kicked, but I would grow from it. So, you know, you never know. Um, what can come from that. So that's, that's what I would recommend. But, you know, the main thing is also is, you know, know what gig you want. You know what I mean? A lot of guys, I say, well, what do you want to do? It's like, I don't know what I want to do. And to me, what's real important is to know what you're going for. Because I think, I do believe that if you focus your energy on something, you have a much better chance of getting it. And for me, it's like I knew what I wanted to get, the gigs I wanted to get, the types of gigs, and then basically everything I did kind of led in that direction. And I think that's really important to, to really figure out who it is that you want to be. Um, in my case, I get called a lot for rock drumming, rock gigs. It wasn't what I set out to do. I played a lot of jazz in college, but it was a niche that kind of came naturally. And there's nothing wrong with that either. So figure out what you're good at and what your strong points are and what people you know, like about your playing. And, and don't be afraid to, to sell that. And then the last thing I would say, because I could just go on and on and on. Um, uh, and, you know, I have, if you go to jasonsoder.com, I, I actually do have a lot of press in there that you can click on the press um, link, and there's tons of, you know, every article I've ever done is in there, and you can read because I get asked that question a lot. So there's a lot of stuff in there if you're, if you're interested and, and want to read more, and, and you can also email me there if you have a specific question. But one thing, you know, I was talking to the Kenny Aronson, our, the bass player with the Dolls last night, who's been doing it way longer than me and had a pretty amazing career, but it's pretty interesting. We were talking how it's no one will will be, you know, you need to be your best salesperson. And you need to be the person to best, you know, no one knows you better than you. So there's no one better to, you know, to basically, um, you know, to basically, you know, argue your cause better than you. So don't be afraid to get out there and, you know, and, and put the word out that you're available and, and what, you're, what you're good at and what you're, um, what you're looking for, you know what I mean? You're, you're your best um, advertiser. So don't forget that, because if you're not gonna do it, nobody else is so that's kind of the world we live in in this music industry you really got to be able to go out there and and um you know be aware of who you are and what you're trying to do and and um and i think that will help get you closer to um 
to get your gig, your dream gig.